Major General Ardak Davtyan has been appointed Chief of the General Staff of the Armenian Armed Forces. He will replace Moses Hagopian, who is appointed Armenia's Chief Military Inspector. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan on Friday introduced Davtyan to the Senior Officer Staff of the Armed Forces. The U.S. Prosecutor's Office charged former Armenian ambassador to China and a Russian citizen of money laundering and bribery. 62-year-old Armenian citizen Azat Mardirosyan and Russian citizen Vitaly Leshkov were charged for their alleged participation in a scheme to launder bribe payments to foreign government officials for the benefit of Ohio-based subsidiary of Rolls-Royce. They aim to secure a contract worth approximately $145 million to supply equipment and services to power natural gas pipeline from from Kazakhstan to China. UK Foreign Minister Boris Johnson discussed Armenia, Putin and Skripal with Russian pranksters who were posing as Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. The Foreign Minister issued a statement condemning the childish actions and said the issues of Salisbury and recent events in Armenia are serious matters. The phone call lasted 18 minutes before Johnson realized that it was a hoax. The Republican Party of Armenia believes there's no need for a snap parliamentary election in the country. Head of the Armenian Parliament's majority faction, Varhan Badasaryan, said they are preparing solely for the regular parliamentary election, which is slated for 2022. Badasaryan added that his party does not refuse any discussion on electoral code reforms. Founding Parliament Initiative member Garo Yagnukyan was released on bail following a court decision on Thursday. The bail amounted to around $20,000. Yagnukyan was under arrest on charges of aiding the Sasna Zerar armed group and since July 2016. U.S. President Donald Trump has canceled the historic meeting in Singapore with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un next month. In a letter to the North Korean leader, Trump said the summit is canceled for the good of both parties but to the detriment of the world. North Korea said they are full of regret at Trump's decision to cancel the summit and will do everything for peace and stability in the Korean peninsula. Meanwhile, South Korean leader Moon Jae-in said they are very perplexed and believe it is very regrettable that the North Korea-U.S. summit will not be held. Australia and the Netherlands hold Russia responsible for the downing of the flight MH17 in Ukraine in July 2014, the Dutch government said in a statement on Friday. The countries are now convinced that Russia is responsible for the development of the Buk installation that was used to down the MH17. The Russian defense ministry, however, denied the accusations. 